How's it going everyone? I am Walter the Film Hermit and happy May to everyone. And this is going to be my uh, steelbook video for May. We're gonna talk about all the steelbooks that are coming out this month. Do a recap of what steelbooks I picked up last month. And I'm gonna remember to do it this time. If you do like my videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. Helps the channel so much. And share if you like, know anyone that likes movies and physical media that might get something out of these videos. And please comment. Uh, my videos are averaging about one to two comments a video. So any comments are helpful. So we're, I'm gonna try to make this video, well, I am gonna make this video once a month. And we're gonna talk about the steelbooks that are coming out. There aren't a lot of steelbooks for me. So it's gonna be a pretty short video. I'm gonna start out just kind of go over the steelbooks I picked up last month. There weren't that many, I'm gonna go through them pretty quickly. Uh, some of them I talked about in my last video. Uh, let me take out the plats here. One of the main ones I was so happy to get is the Robocop Steelbook. I did an unboxing video for this one. I love this one because it has an a image of the original poster on here. Let me try not to get so much glare on it. But if you want a closer look at the Steelbook, you can look at my unboxing video. I did an announcement video for this one too. This was an Arrow release. It was a 4K Steelbook. It has two discs in here because it has the theatrical edition and the longer director's cut with more violence. Beautiful steel book. And it's not a bad price, like around 30 bucks. So really, really good deal. So that was from Arrow Video. And I picked up a steel book that came out, I believe it was towards the end of last year. Uh, this is a 4K steel book of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I haven't opened it yet. Main reason, I did actually, this is one of my first videos that I ever did. I did an announcement video for this one. This was the 20th anniversary for the first film in the Harry Potter series. I was hoping that we'd get a steel book every year for each film as it hit its 20th anniversary. This is the 20th anniversary in 2022 for the second film, uh, Chamber of Secrets, but they have not announced a steel book as of yet. But the main reason why I picked this one up is because they lowered the price on it. So I figured it'd be a good time to pick it up. And I always wanted to have Harry Potter on steel book even though I do have a 4K box set for all the Harry Potter films. So uh, that was kind of an impulse buy. It was like around a little less than 20 bucks. That's why I just pulled the trigger on this one. And then the steel book that I said I wasn't gonna get, I ended up getting was I got Scream 5, AKA Scream 2022. I was gonna get a slip cover of this cause I have the original Scream and slip cover, but I just couldn't resist because I found out that basically if you wanna get the 4K Blu-ray combo, you could only get it in the steelbook and this steelbook sold out and then they came back and stopped. Best Buy always catches me with steelbooks that I'm on the fence on and they sit still out right away and then they come back and stock and I'm just kind of like, if I don't get it now, I'll probably never gonna ever see it again. So I pulled the trigger on it and it's an amazing looking steelbook. I wish I hadn't gotten the original Scream on steelbook, but this is actually a really nice steelbook. I haven't opened it yet. I saw the movie, the theater back in January. So Maybe I'll do an unboxing video, but it's kind of an older still book at this point. Everyone's been doing unboxing videos, so we'll see. If you guys like me doing an unboxing video for the screen, uh, still book, let me know. Uh, this is Heavy Metal. Uh, the main reason I ended up getting this one, it was a bit pricey for an older movie, it's $35. It's mainly $35 because there's two movies in here. You get Heavy Metal in 4K and Blu-ray, and then you get a Blu-ray version of the sequel, which I don't know if I've ever seen. I just remember this was kind of like a quintessential anime, animated film when I was a kid that was an R-rated, I probably shouldn't have been watching, but I watched it anyway. Um, so I was like, let's pick it up before they're all gone. And so I got Heavy Metal in 4K. And then the other steelbook I got was The Kingsman. Uh, this was an earlier steelbook that came out early in the year. This went on sale. This was originally 60 bucks. And then I waited for it to go down to 45 bucks. I figured it's a good deal because you get three movies in here. Two of the movies I already had on steelbook, but the only way to get the third and prequel movie, uh, The King's Man on steelbook was to buy the set. I just figured it'd be a really great deal. Plus they're great looking steel books. So I was on the fence, it went on sale and then I didn't buy it and then it went back up and then it went on sale again and then I picked it up and bought it. So uh, not sure when I'm gonna open this one up. I'm kind of afraid to open it because they don't have dividers in between the movies. So I'm afraid once I open one up, it's gonna scratch the other one. So we'll see, um, when I'm in the mood to watch the third film, I'm gonna open it up. So those are the steel books I picked up in April. So we're gonna go through the steel books that are going to be available here in May. And the first one that's gonna be coming up, let me unlock my iPad here, of course, because I'm on camera, it wants the passcode. Uh, so the first Tuesday of the month is going to be on May 3rd. So on May 3rd, we're gonna be getting Turning Red. This is that Disney Pixar film 
that premiered on Disney Plus, the last three Pixar movies came directly to Disney Plus, which is kind of strange because, you know, Pixar is a kind of a big deal for Disney. But the next Pixar film that's going to be coming out, Lightyear, that is going to theaters. I believe we're going to start doing the theme months on my channel. So June is going to be the month with Pixar. So we're going to talk about all the Pixar movies I haven't talked about yet and do videos in each film. And I want to actually watch all the Pixar movies. The only reason I'm going to buy this one is because I have all the Pixar movies on 4K Steelbook and I'm trying to keep up with the collection. So I want to go ahead and get this one too. And I have a feeling a lot of other people are feel the same way. I've heard of people, some people say that this movie's not that good, but like all the Pixar movies for the most part are pretty good except for the Cars films. And I looked at the Rotten Tomatoes score and it was actually kind of high. So I went ahead and I bought this one. The last one that came out directly at Disney Plus, Luca, I bought that steel book, but I haven't watched it yet. So I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna watch that soon for June Pixar month. So the next movie that's gonna be coming out on that day on Steelbook is gonna be Smoking Aces. This is a Ryan Reynolds film uh, with Andy Garcia uh, that came out back in 2007. I think Ben Affleck's in it too. I know I've seen this movie. I don't remember anything about it. I remember it take, It was an action film that took place in a hotel. That's all I remember. This is something I probably would pick up, but I'm not gonna be in a hurry to pick up. Not necessarily needed on Steelbook. So that's gonna be on May 3rd. The other release on May 3rd is gonna be an anime film called Bell, which I've never heard of. It has a really, really beautiful steelbook, and it's good. this one's gonna be a Target exclusive, which is rare, because Target gets exclusive steelbooks sometimes, but usually only about three to five a year, if that. So, but the thing with this is a G Kids shout release, and they always have amazing slip covers. So the slip cover in this is beautiful as well. Now, I think I read the description of it, and I had it handy, but it's gone now. It's about a girl trapped in between two worlds, a teenage girl trapped in between two worlds. So it looks kind of interesting to me. Uh, I might, I wasn't planning on getting this, but I might pick it up, but it doesn't matter if I do, am I gonna get a slip or am I gonna get a steel because they're both beautiful. I'm not gonna double dip on something I haven't seen before, but uh, that might be something interesting. It's, by the way, that is a G Kids release. That is not a Studio Ghibli release, but it is a Japanese anime film. It looks very, very interesting. So those are the three steel books we're getting on May 3rd. So on May 10th, uh, the big release for May 10th is gonna be uh, Tom Holland in Uncharted. Now I saw half of Uncharted at the theater and I'm gonna be honest with you, I just kind of walked out of the theater. I was kind of bored and not very interested in it. I didn't like it very much. Nothing against Tom Holland, it's just, I'm. it's a video game movie that just was just hitting a lot of beats that I've seen in plenty of movies before and I just wasn't really interested. I think I got to the part where he met Antonio Banderas at this auction and then and then they left and I was like, uh, I just want to go home. I just really wasn't interested. So I'm definitely not going to be picking this up on Steelbook. Um, maybe I'll pick up a slipcover release, like if it's like $10 on Black Friday or something and just finish the movie. But I'm not going to be in a hurry to pick up Uncharted. I mean, the movie made money and it's, it looks like it's going to be a franchise for Sony. I mean, if you liked Uncharted, let me know in the comments. But it just wasn't for me. But I never liked to watch a movie and never follow up with it. So I'll probably follow up with later and see uh if it's as bad as i think it's gonna be but so far the first hour i wasn't really all that impressed i don't even think i made an hour i might have just made 45 minutes but the next movie that's gonna be coming out on steelbook on may 10th is gonna be friday the 13th the friday the 13th part three so it looks like paramount has been releasing all the friday the 13th movies on steelbook but they're doing one every two to three years <laughs> Uh, I didn't realize this uh, until quite recently that was like their plan. So with over 10 to 11 movies, I think in that franchise, they should be done in about 15, 20 years. <laughs> but they're nice still books. So I might start my collection with them. I have all the Friday the 13th on the, the, sh the Scream Factory box set. So I don't really need these movies, but like if you get a digital copy, which the Shout Factory release didn't have, and you have a really nice still book for the film. And they're very inexpensive. So I might, they're usually between 15 to $20 a piece. So, and one and two are still available. So I could always get caught up and get three, but it's not gonna be something I'm gonna rush to get. And I believe that one's going to be a wide release. So Uncharted and Friday the 13th Part 3 are wide releases, meaning it's not a Best Buy exclusive. You can buy it pretty much in any retailer that sells movies. So that's gonna sum up what's gonna come out on May 10th. The next Tuesday is gonna be May 17th. 
May 17th, we're gonna get a really great Lionsgate steelbook of Hell or High Water. Uh, this is actually another beautiful looking steelbook from Lionsgate. This is actually a really good movie, haven't seen it. It stars Chris Pine and Jeff Bridges. I have this movie on 4K. I bought it, the slipcover version of it. I liked it a lot a few years ago when I saw it. Don't they necessarily think I need two copies of it, but I know a lot of people out there want to pick up every Lionsgate steelbook. I think if I was going to go that route, I'd probably pick up the Lionsgate steelbooks for movies I don't have at all yet, and then maybe come back around and get the ones that I already have, if I ever do. So that's not going to be high on my list either. But really great movie. If you don't have it, haven't seen it, I'd recommend picking it up. So the next one that we're... Actually, that's the only one we're getting on May 17th. The next uh, Tuesday of the month is going to be May 24th. And the big release for the whole month is going to be The Batman, starring Robert, Robert Pattinson and directed by Matt Reeves. I did a announcement video for uh, this film already. There's lots of different exclusive versions. There's a steelbook. There's a Target edition, which now has art. Um, I did... Oh, actually, has art. I didn't put this artwork in my announcement video because it wasn't available on Blu-ray.com yet, but that's what the Target release looks like. It's not a steelbook. Uh, but if you want to get the steelbook, you want to get the steelbook from Best Buy, which has some really unique art. I really like the slipcover art there, so I think if I pick up the steelbook, I might have to double dip on this one because I didn't love the movie, but I really love the artwork on the slipcover and the steelbook. So I want to give this movie a second chance. I've only seen it one time. Um, it's on HBO Max right now, but I decided I'm going to wait for physical release because I want to have the best visual quality when I watch it. I don't want to pull another Spider-Man No Way Home when I watch it on digital and not very impressed by the image quality. So, 524, we're getting the Batman. And a strange thing I didn't think I'd be announcing, but Arrow Video is going to be doing a limited edition 4K box set of Wild Things. Wild Things is a really trashy uh, movie with A-list actors. It has Matt Dillon, Denise Richards, Nev Campbell, Kevin Bacon. It's been so many years since I've seen it. I remember liking it, but it's a really trashy movie. But I'm probably going to end up getting this. I don't know if I'm going to get it on release date. So this is a, a, a big release for, for Arrow Video. There's four different versions. So there's the standard Blu-ray release of it. There's going to be a limited edition 4K release of it. And they're going to do a steelbook, two steelbook editions. One is just a standard steelbook. And the other one is going to be like a, a limited edition steelbook box set with a slip box. I was thinking if I was going to get this, I'm probably just going to get the regular 4K release. I don't need to get a steelbook of wild things. But when I was looking at the pricing on Arrow's site, it's only a $5 difference for the ultimate box set. So I figured if I'm going to even get this, I might as well just get the steelbook if I get it. I don't know yet. 50 bucks is, I mean, a lot for a while. I think the regular Blu-ray for this sells for $10. But it is a movie I remember liking, even though it's trashy. And it, uh, it, it's a movie I remember liking. And, you know, I'm probably just going to, we'll see. I, I haven't made a decision on that one yet. I, I, Arrow is becoming one of my favorite uh, boutique labels. So I love supporting what they do. Uh, I've been noticing lately what they'll do is once they release a limited edition a few months later, they'll release a standard edition. This might be worth waiting for a standard edition. Um, the other reason I was thinking about getting it is because it's going to be a native 4K transfer. And that, that's something that, you know, I love. So we'll see on that. The last still book of the month that's going to be coming out, it's going to be on May 31st. And that is going to be The Untouchables. Uh, this is one of my favorite movies when I was growing up. It stars Kevin Costner. Um, the late, great Sean Connery. Uh, it's also got Robert De Niro in it, it and Andy Garcia. This movie is absolutely amazing. I believe it came out in 1987. I've seen it many, many times. I've been noticing this movie has been making the rounds on uh, a lot of reaction videos on YouTube lately. A lot of millennials are checking it out and liking it as much as did, I did when it first came out. Uh, this one has a slip cover and a still book. I not crazy about the steelbook art, but I do like it a little more than the art on the slipcover, so I'm probably going to get this one on steelbook. And uh, that's the, the total of all the steelbooks. So the only ones I know for sure that I'm getting as of now is I'm getting the Batman, I'm getting the Untouchables, and I'm getting Turn Red, so three. So we'll see it at the end of the month if I end up picking up more. I'm probably going to end up picking up more. So again, if you do like my videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel so much. Thank you all for watching, and you all have a great day. Bye.